So what we're seeing here is the famous Hearst building. Now the ground floor is landmark because it's just so ornate. And during the Bloomberg administration, they were able to finally erect a building on top of it. For many different mayors, there was always the thought of potentially putting a building on top of this landmarked uh, building that was uh, below it. However, uh, many individuals in New York said, no, you can't do it. It just doesn't make sense. It's not good to do it. But under the Bloomberg administration, they felt that it would be good to try to put up some construction here. And you can see how architecturally, it's just magnificent. And you can see here in, uh, from the exterior, very, very unique. One of the issues with this building is that uh, because it's landmarked on the uh, ground floors, uh, for restaurants and stores that are there, they have, they're not allowed to have a sign on the exterior uh, that's a prominent sign. So that presents its own problem. That's one of the reasons why some of the commercial space on the ground floor is still empty even after they constructed it because a lot of resta restaurants and stores are reluctant to lease because they're just not able to conveniently display who they are and where they are. So again, we're gonna take a better look at the building. You can see how beautiful it is and take a look here. You can see all the stores and uh, some nice stores have been in the, the ground floor on the other side and they, uh, um, they thought that it was a good thing to be there. This is at 57th and 8th Avenue. And this is looking uh, west on 8th Avenue. And this is looking east on uh, 57th Street. And you can see in the distance, that's one of the buildings that's gonna be famous. It's gonna be one of the tallest residential towers. And um, it's a, uh, by the MacLeod Corporation. Uh, it has a very interesting story. MacLeod was gonna put up that building, then he lost the space, and then the space that uh, the company that bought it actually brought Harry MacLeod on as a 10% partner to help construct it, and he's doing a fantastic job. And that space there is, that building right there, is where George Soros has his foundation. The entire building is owned by um, uh, Abu Dhabi Corporation, but George Soros has leased it out for his uh, foundation. So again, this is the Hearst building. This is why we're here, just to see what it looks like. Beautiful building in itself, and uh, has a very storied past. It's worthwhile taking a look at.